What's going on guys? Angry Manduke here again, and what am I angry about? Well, this is a bit of a story time as well. So let me uh, apologize for not being on for a while, but uh, I haven't felt like making videos, so I don't. And since I don't make money on here, there's really no priority to it uh, for, I don't know, the next 30 subscribers or so. It is interesting to me that after I got angry about subscribers that I have gained subscribers. It's too much winning! Like YouTube's paying attention to that shit or something. They might be, but I'm so small it's kind of hard to believe that they are paying attention because they don't pay attention to anything else that concerns me. Like people reporting my gay Bigfoot cyst popping videos as nudity when all I was exposing was my left arm. Flick my bean to it. So in any case, what am I angry about and what's the story? All right, the story was last time I was on home time. Farting appropriately. I had a convertible blue Camaro and I didn't do a rental car review on it because you've already seen the red Camaro and I, that, that's the third Camaro I've had. I've had red, white, and blue in that order, which, okay, they're American, but in any case, I had this blue convertible Camaro. My grandmother had recently died. All we've got left is this chasm. And that's why I was home. I was home for an extended period of time and, and I had to go to her funeral and, and well, my grandmother was 92, God rest her soul. She, like. I'm happy for her because she wanted to go, so I'm not like overly upset about it myself, even though I am going to miss her, it's just at some point people go and you know that that's how that works. Anyway, so I'm on home time, we go down to my grandmom's house so that we can uh, check out the basement because the basement flooded since she passed and my mother and my aunt are in the process of cleaning out the house so that they can, you know, finish the estate and all of that, you know. Uh, so on the way back, there's this pickup truck. Well, it's a like brand new GMC pickup truck. Nothing fancy done to it or anything, but he's riding my ass and he rides my ass all the way from the end of 55 to my mother's house, which is about six miles. And I had passed somebody because somebody was going slow and uh, I had a six-cylinder Camaro. That thing has 335 horsepower. I didn't have any problems getting around sh shit, even though it's, it's a six-cylinder. Yeah, the V8's better, but they don't rent the V8, so it is what it is. But I had the top down. I had Casper in the back, and this guy, like, is riding my ass the whole time, like, to the point where I can't even see his license plate in my rear view. So I go to turn on my mother's road, and I flip him the bird. I'm just trying to be friendly, you know? He then stops in the middle of the highway and curses me out. Now, I have no idea what he said, but because he was doing that, and I could see that in my rear view, I flipped on the bird again. It's for later consumption. So I go home, and one of the things we did at my grandmom's house was I picked up the uh, Ryobi weed whacker that I got from my grandmom years ago. And uh, so I started, and since I recently had mowed my mom's lawn, I started weed whacking the lawn because it, it needed it. You've outdone yourself this time, kiddo. And I convinced my mom to get a Ryobi lawnmower that uses the same battery as the weed whacker, so, you know, I'm kind of showing her how to do it and whatnot. Well, about 10 or 15 minutes goes by, and this asshole comes back. That is not okay! Comes to my house, rolls up, so I immediately have to grab Casper because Casper's ready to, like, you know, tear his face off because the kid comes to me yelling at me about how I gave him the finger. Well, yeah, I gave him the finger. Everything is a situation. So he's got his buddy in the truck with him and I'm holding the dog. And he's like asking me why I flipped him the bird. So I explained to him the whole tailgating thing and how that's against the law for a good reason and how a Camaro can stop 10 times faster than a Silverado just because of the weight, you know, what the hell. And he goes, well, you know, I just wanted to know why you gave me the finger. You're kind of being a dick. And I'm like, well, I'm the dick? Dude, you came to my house. That's harassment. That, like, I'm being the dick. You rode my ass, which is against the law. You stopped in the highway and cursed me out, which is just retarded. Don't be retarded. And then you came to my house, and you're calling me a dick. Well, fuck you, dude. So he keeps going on and on about, like, the finger and all this shit. Then he says, well, I can come back with somebody because I guess he wants to fight me, but 
he's a scrawny little teenage kid and it's probably his dad's truck and he's like too much of a pussy to get out of the truck and I'm not the dude that's gonna like go to your driver door and pull you out of the truck and beat your ass but somebody is pathetic you know if you keep going to people's houses when they flip you the bird on the road which happens to me regularly I take advantage of that all the time too somebody is gonna rip you out of the truck and whoop the shit out of you it's just not gonna be me because that would also involve Casper biting somebody and I and I, I really don't want that to happen because at some point the law will get involved with Casper biting people and then I won't have Casper anymore and you know it's Casper I love it he's hot today because we're in Des Moines and it, it's like not 85 degrees outside and it's hot so anyway I have to boil the tongue from the head so anyway like I'm like well why do you gotta go and get somebody else so the guy in the passenger seat's like well I didn't know what the hell we were coming here for I'm only here because like me and him hang out every day I had no idea what he meant by we're going for a ride and why the hell we're here and I was really just worried about you rear-ending me and possibly hurting my dog or my mom who was in the car or me and and he's like well the insurance company will cover all that and I'm like no insurance company is not gonna bring my dog back to life if you rear end me and he dies like it just ain't gonna do that my the insurance company is not gonna fix my mother's injuries if she gets injured because you rear end me in your dad's pickup truck that's just not, not gonna happen plus it's a rental car I don't think anybody wants to deal with that shit you wanna play that way with me? I play with you. Like, I could deal with a lawsuit, but I really don't want to because it would prevent me from doing my job. Now, if I get injured and I'm disabled, then the lawsuit would be based on the maximum amount of money I've made in a year, which is this year, for the rest of my working life. And seeing how I'm making six figures this year and the rest of my life, like my working life, they assume I'm going to retire at 68. Well, shit, that's 30 years or damn near 30 years. You want to pay me $3 million? Somehow I don't think so because you'd never be insured again. I buried those cockroaches. In any case, so, you know, I say, well, if you come back with somebody else, then not only have you harassed me and tailgated me, and then you're going to come back and uh, assumptionally assault me and also trespass on my property, the cops will be here waiting if you come back. So then he's like, well, whatever, fuck this. And he starts backing out and I flipped him the bird again. And that's all I ever heard about it. But like he never came back again, which would have been his, his best interest because I was going to press charges because, you know, what the hell do I need some little punk ass kid trying to threaten me and, you know, wanting to fight me over the middle finger while I'm free to express it whenever the hell I want. He knows the ways of the force. So anyway guys I've rambled on long enough about this but it's seriously irritated me because for all the times that I've gotten the finger on the road you'll have to grab someone else's mine are taken. I've never followed anyone back to the, their house and for all the times that I've given the finger I've never had anyone follow me back to my house over a fucking finger nor have I had it seen it happen to anyone else because my stepdad he'll be in the passenger seat and he'll lean over and blow the horn while flipping the bird at people and I've never had anybody follow me home so that they could like curse me out about a finger so whatever for every stupid thing you think you've ever done there's definitely someone else that is dumber than you the irony is not lost on me so anyway guys Thanks for watching. You know I wouldn't do this without you. I'll see all my friends in my next video.